this series is aimed for anyone and you absolutely don't need any coding experience. Even if you have never touched code, you will be able to learn to make your very own iOS app. I'm very excited and pleased to teach you today and help you on your journey to become an iOS developer. Here is how it's like to be an iOS developer. So welcome to iOS ABC tutorial and I will tell you about what we're gonna actually discuss. So the first thing we're gonna discuss in this ABC iOS tutorial is Xcode. Xcode is Apple's development environment and we're gonna create a single project. In the next tutorial, we'll learn about Apple's UI, user interface, and we'll learn how to create a simple layout. And next, we will talk about two of the most basic parts of an app, which is the view controls and views. But these are very important concepts, and if you understand this, you are getting really far with app development. And then we're gonna start finally coding and I will teach you every step. Don't worry, uh, you're gonna grasp hard concepts very easily. Uh, I will be there to guide you and uh, I'll also answer any questions uh, in the comments. Then we're gonna learn about the Swift function and the if statement. And then we're gonna learn about the Swift classes which are the most important part of uh, programming itself which is the object oriented programming. Once you learn this concept, you are almost 50% there as a coder. Then we'll start uh, writing our first user interface using storyboards. Storyboards are iOS's way of organizing all the screens for an app. So we're gonna work on a guessing game, which is a simple app, but it will teach you a lot of things uh, uh, with an app development and you will get pretty far of understanding how an app is made and you'll be able to create your own app. We'll learn next about how to use stacks, which is a more simple way of doing a UI than auto layout. We learned auto layout in um, the sec uh, second section when we created the Apple UI. Uh, that's going to be in the next uh, tutorial after this. And then we'll start writing logic and code for our first app. I'm so excited to teach you that. And finally, we're going to end every, uh, the whole tutorial with uh, teaching you how sound animation works in an app. And we're going to create our very first app, our guessing game with sound and animation. Excited? Let's get on with the Xcode tutorial now. So in today's tutorial, we will talk about Xcode. We will learn about what Xcode is and how to create a single view project. We will learn about Xcode panels such as Property Inspector, Project Navigator and Editor. We will learn how Xcode compiles Swift code into machine code. And finally, we'll learn how to run an app and see errors thrown when Xcode doesn't understand the language syntax, such as Swift. This series is the stepping stone to become an iOS developer. I will have more advanced tutorial later. However, you will have to go through this series first. So let's go ahead and start the tutorial. What do you say? At first, want to let you know how an app is made. There is a something called Xcode. So Xcode is the development environment and if you uh, have an Apple account and you can learn about Xcode right here. Um, to download the Xcode you can go to your app store and search for Xcode as you can see X C O D E and uh, you can go ahead and uh, download that. Usually the download takes about an hour or so so if you uh, have not downloaded yet I suggest you download and come back to the video later 
So we're going to go ahead and start Xcode now. Uh, so if you have Xcode installed, you should be able to see it here in the thing. So if you don't find it, you can search and Xcode will launch. And when Xcode launches, uh, you can go ahead and go to File, New, Project. And when you get to this screen, you basically get a predefined template of all the um, kind of like a starting app that Apple provides for you. So you don't have to like, write all the code. Um, so, but we're going to go ahead and start with a app from scratch. This gives you kind of like a, some code, but not a lot. So we can, we can kind of learn all the basics and everything to start with this. So go ahead and select this and select the iOS, uh, for the template. You can also create like watch OS, TV OS, Mac OS, and all, all other, um, development. Uh, so go ahead and press that and go ahead and press select next. And over here, uh, for the product name, you can select any name, uh, for the app and just say uh, test project because we're not going to code yet. And uh, for this team, uh, usually is the remember I showed you developer.apple.com. You can download it. Uh, you can actually make um, a profile there, and you can use it here. For right now, if you don't have anything, it's fine. An organization name is just a unique identifier for your organization, like uh, any kind of organization you have, like a company, or you could be a person, your person, your own name. And then you have the organization identifier and the bundle identifier. This one is actually your organization along with your app name and .com. And then you can basically have a unique identifier for your app. So Apple can distinguish an app from each other. That's how he knows. Uh, we can get into more details later about this unique identifier and everything. Uh, in language, select Swift. This is the language we're, that we're going to code in. And the user interface, we're, we, I had, do have some Swift UI tutorials, but we're going to start with uh, understanding how actually in iOS, uh, how, how it was before. Swift UI is a little different, so you want to learn this first. Um, and we're going to check storyboard. And this, don't worry about this right now. So again, you have the product name, you got the team and organization name, identifier, bundle identifier. Uh, you don't need the team. You, you need those two, just put anything is fine for now. And you select uh, language Swift and the user interface storyboard and press next and press this should, create, or you can create a new folder and put it in there. Uh, and here you are, uh, Xcode as your development environment. So go ahead. Xcode has three sections, right? So you have the left, the middle and the, and the right and use the, so all the file structure and the file hierarchy uh, is in the project navigator. So this is the project navigator and you have all the files that belong to Xcode, like it belong to your project basically. Um, and these are the classes that Xcode already created for you. And this is the storyboard that we're going to work on for the UI. And this is where all the pictures, um, that you want to store for your app, um, is and also the this is the launch when, whenever you launch an app you the first screen that you see is the launch screen and the info p list is basically all the configuration for your app um for example like any kind of like camera uh, permission or you can set like what kind of orientation you want the app like you can see the orientation landscape portrait you can also set the same thing and if you go to here and in general, you can, if you change anything here, it gets updated in this info P list. And when you, um, create an app, you have the app here, which uh, gives you an, uh, a kind of like a file that you can uh, use for, uh, testing. Well, and then, so you have, uh, you can also filter down, uh, mm -hmm. any kind of, uh, hierarchy. Like if I want to filter down with a J or. If I want to filter down the info P list only, uh, oh, I can get info P list. And there's also like, you can filter down errors, 
This is it doesn't really matter the names, but you, you get the gist of it. It's basically where you have um, it, different sections of like, let's say if, we go, if I go to a storyboard and I select the storyboard, I can drill down to each section. Like, let's say I have a button, I can change the button color, like I can change this background. And this is where all the magic happens. Even if you click details, change stuff about the file, the location. This is where it's called property inspector. This is project navigator, and this is the editor. And the editor is where all the magic happens for the code. Uh, so if you write code, so you can see um, Apple has already created something for me. And it has also given me the ability to write code. So this is actually written in Swift. And what we're going to do here is um, we're going to go further in the details later about this file, the view controller, the scene delegate and all that stuff. But uh, for now, I want to go ahead and just tell you how a compiler works and how a code is turned into a compiling language where the machine can actually read it. So what happens is whenever you you have this developer environment. When you write code and you press this play button, what happens is it this is a high level language. So it, the computer doesn't understand this language. It has to turn it into machine code. In order to turn it into machine code, it has to compile. And there's a compiler. And when you press this button, it compiles that into a machine code, which is assembly code. Machine code is like ones and zeros. So that's what happens. So if I press this button, as you can see, it's building Building means it's, it's turning that co that code into uh, the machine code. It uses machine code and it reads that code. So it has a blank screen because we haven't done anything. Um, so if you were to create any kind of error, like if you do like that and you press here, it right away like screams at you that you have something wrong. It's so easy to detect, and you can change the, that. And it's usually like. It says value of U has no member view. So it says it doesn't understand this. So now it understands it and he can run. So I want to kind of like tell you um, the gets of uh, Xcode now. So you'll kind of get a better idea of it. I hope you had a good understanding of it. If you have any kind of question about Xcode, I'm going to put a link down there. And it's going to have more details on Xcode. But as you code, and you're going to get really familiar with Xcode. And um, then you can get around it easily. And this is where all the magic happens. And we're going to do everything here. So thank you for, uh, for uh, listening to me. And thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to teach you about iOS development.